I'm Dr. Len Lichtenfeld, Deputy Chief Medical Officer for the American Cancer Society, and welcome to another discussion about behind the science. And joining me once again is Dr. Otis Brawley, our Chief Medical Officer. Today we're going to be talking about lung cancer and lung cancer screening and what this new study means about saving lives from lung cancer. So, Dr. Brawley, welcome once again, and uh, tell us a little bit about this trial, the National Lung Screening Trial. Well, the National Lung Screening Trial started in 2002. It took about 53 to 54,000 people who were, had a history of heavy smoking, at least 30 pack years of smoking, which is a pack per day for 30 years. Uh, some of them had stopped smoking, but if they had stopped smoking, it had to be less than 10 years ago. And these people were randomized to either a chest x-ray or a spiral CT with the idea of seeing if uh, spiral CT saved lives. And the end result was there's a 20% difference in death rate among people who got the spiral CT versus people who got the chest x-ray screening. And if I'm not mistaken, there was also a reduction in all deaths from any cause of about 7% as well. That's exactly right, and we, we're still looking into that. That's an unusual finding from a trial like this, but yes, that was a good finding and it did, did occur. We lose, unfortunately, in this country, in the United States, about 160,000 people, plus or minus, every year from lung cancer. Uh, it would seem to me, and perhaps to folks who are watching us, that that's a good thing if we can cut that by 20%. It, it would be wonderful if we could cut it by 20%. The, st the study doesn't necessarily tell us that we can cut it by 20% because the study actually looked at people who were at very high risk because they were significant smokers. Some people get lung cancer are moderate smokers. Some people are non-smokers. So we, this trial applies to a small group of people, and that is people who are significant smokers. And I think it's fair to say that a lot of those people are able to get up and walk to go get the, the scans. They're relatively healthy people. A lot of people with lung cancer have a number of other diseases. That's absolutely correct. Uh, if we get to the point where we should be doing spiral CT screening, and I say if because the scientific community still needs to digest all this information. There's still a huge number of questions that have not been answered about the overdiagnosis rates, the false positive rates, the number of people who got additional biopsies, and there were some harms that did occur in the trial. Some people actually died who did not have lung cancer, but the CT scans caused them to actually have surgery. That actually did happen. Uh, some people ended up being pulmonary cripples after surgeries for things that turned out to be false positives. All of these things happened. We need to balance the harms along with the benefits, and the scientific community actually needs time to really digest this information to come out with a true recommendation. Well, so there are a lot of people out there and their families and the loved ones who are concerned about people who are smokers. What's your advice? What's the advice of the American Cancer Society to people who may have been heavy smokers? What should they do with this information? Well, I think it's always fair to say that you need to have a good long talk with a doctor who understands this information, probably a pulmonologist, possibly a general internist, uh, possibly a lung cancer specialist. Have a good conversation about what we know about the current risks and the current benefits, and then make a decision. We must realize that there are harms associated with spiral CT, uh, even in this population, uh, at very high risk because of smoking. Uh, one of the things I'm very concerned about is there's some people who have intermediate risk or low risk who are concerned about uh, lung cancer and want to go out and get a spiral CT. This trial did not speak to that group of people. The harms associated with spiral CT screening for that group of people could actually be much higher than it is for this group of people at very high risk for lung cancer. So we need to be very cautious. I don't want to see a large number of people running out and demanding this test right now, but people who are at very high risk because of smoking history need to have a good open conversation, make a decision, realize there are harms and there are now known benefits as well but for people who are at high risk for lung cancer because of extensive smoking history. So in closing, I think it's uh, fair to say that 
uh, understand what you're getting into, but this is not something we're recommending at the American Cancer Society that everybody do right away. And instead, we're going to take a look at this evidence and make a decision when, when we have more information about this trial, which we don't have at the present time. Exactly. The American Cancer Society is going to put together a group of experts to digest the information as it becomes available to us. We don't have all the information yet. We have a small amount of very positive information, but we need to get the full description of the trial that's been done, and then we will be making a recommendation. Well, that's, uh, again, very, uh, very informative, very helpful, and important information for those who are watching this uh, show, and we appreciate uh, the, uh, joining us today. So I'm Dr. Len Lichtenfeld with Dr. Otis Brawley. This is Behind the Science, and thank you for uh, being with us today.